Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Rob here at Ford Loaded Customs. Hey, on today's video, we're going to be wet sanding and polishing out the truck, so stay tuned. I'm going to get to uh, spraying in the wheel well, uh, sorry, spraying the wheel wells with some black paint, some rust paint, make sure those are all nice and clean. They look great. I'm going to get doing that there today and I'm going to reshoot the hood, throw some more color in it and re-clear it with some Omni Clear so it should wet sand and polish out great. So um, at the same time, I'm probably reshoot the, uh, the door piece here too. So I did have a bug land up on the upper rail here on the driver's side door. I'll show you that. I'm going to sand that out, shoot it with a little bit more color and repair that part there too. So all right, guys, let's uh, get to fixing these parts up here on the truck. And there's a section here to these little um, dust or dirt or whatever it was that got in there. So uh, it's still showing up pretty good. So I want to make sure I'm able to fix that. And I might as well take the opportunity now before everything's done, everything's painted, uh, to go over the truck, make sure I can get rid of most of this stuff here. So I'm going to get rid of this section here. Sorry, get rid of that. Shoot some more color over it. Shoot, shoot some more color over this section here. Clear the hood with the Omni Clear. It's a nice day for it, so I shouldn't have any issues uh, with the clear coat uh, solvent popping or anything like that. The temperature is really nice outside, so uh, everything should cure pretty good. And I'll show you just over here. So turned out really good. This is the only real bad section that was in the truck is where this bug, and actually two bugs got in here, one there, one there. But it's in a, not a bad spot because at least I'm not having to do a redo, I'm not having to redo a whole door. Just this top section here, I can mask it off of the white line and re-clear this. So uh, that's what I'm gonna be doing here today, guys. Fix up this part here. Fix up the hood, get it all resprayed there too. Shoot some color over it, get some nice Omni Clear on there so I can wet sand and polish it. And uh, shoot the wheel wells there too with some black rust paint and get that all fixed up and looking good. And then tomorrow, tomorrow will be on to wet sanding and polishing everything. So, set this camera up and let's go and let's get to start, uh, and let's get to uh, spraying some color again today. So guys, uh, normally if you're undoing something like this, I usually take those tires off, but uh, if you're wondering why I didn't, um, at my parents' house, there really was not a jack I trusted uh, to use to do this, so we ended up leaving the tires on. But uh, that's why, in case you're wondering. All right, cool guys. So I got the hood all fixed up here. There's no more solvent pop. So I threw, I threw down a couple coats of coverage for color just to get rid of all the lines and stuff like that. It turned out really nice. 
Uh, fixed over, fixed up the top of the door here. Recleared this section here. So, just show you that there too. So guys, this is where the bug was there yesterday. Uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, but the bug was right around this area here. So, wet sanded it out with 400 grit. Shot a couple, three more coats of color in there just to blend it out to about right here. And I'm slightly down the, this section of the door. Got that all blended out just to make sure that the color was pretty pretty matchable. If you ever run across issues where you're painting in an environment where you really can't control it, such as I am here with the bugs and everything else, uh, and you do need to make a repair, always look for a section of the door or the panels where you can mask off and make a repair. And then this way you're not you know, painting a full section. It always makes it a little bit easier, right? So pretty happy about this. The door turn turned out great. Um, yeah, pretty definitely pretty happy about this. It looks pretty good. So come over here. Take a quick look there. So the hood turned out really good, like I was saying before, no solvent pop, nothing on the hood. <clears throat> really happy with it how this turned out here too. Um, so the next thing here I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the camera up, I'm gonna wet sand and polish the truck down. Start off on the driver's side uh, box side here real quick. So just so you know, just before I start doing this here, I'm gonna start the wet sanding process at a thousand grit, move up to 1500, 2000, and hit it with 3000. What that's gonna do is it's gonna cut my cut polishing time in half. Uh, cut it down a lot when you go up that high in grade of sandpaper. So set this camera up real quick and hit this thing with a thousand grit first and we'll knock it out all flat and then we'll start going up from there. So let's go. All right, guys. So the truck's all been wet sanded and polished. Or sorry, wet sanded. It hasn't been polished yet. That's the next step. But uh, truck's all been wet sanded from a thousand grit all the way to three thousand. Uh, the whole entire thing is all set and ready to go here for polishing now. Uh, quickly show you the stuff I'll be using for the uh, power polishing stage, and then we'll get to hitting this truck up and polishing up that paint and see what kind of finish we got on this 1979 Chevrolet C10. This is the finish. Just want to show you this here real quick before I show you the Menzerna power polishing products I'll be using. So this has all been wet sanded, 1,000 grit all the way to 3,000. This is the finish that I've gotten on the truck. Uh, there's a piece I shot earlier in the day. I'll show you the reflective, uh, the reflectiveness of the quarter panel back there. Uh, that just shows you how reflective it is being wet sanded with 3,000. I'll add that clip in here right after this. So this is how it turned out. Whole truck's been wet sanded. Uh, front, back, cab, everything like that. So um, let's get to showing you the Manzerna product. This is my uh, Manzerna lineup that I'll be using today for the, doing the power polishing on the truck. Uh, Manzerna, in my opinion, is probably one of the better products I've used for doing cut polishing. I find it cuts quickly, it saves you a lot of time, and it does a fantastic job with fantastic results. And it's probably one of the user friendly ones I've worked with. I really like it. 
So uh, I use these with the chemical guide pads. I find the chemical guide pads are put together really well. They're very durable. They last a long time and they have uh, excellent cutting power. I uh, really like them. So I use the chemical guide pads with the Manzuna paste. So first step I'll be doing will be the heavy cut compound. I got two yellow pads there, one for the driver's side, one for the passenger side. What I find is that cuts down a lot of time. You've got a clean pad for each side of the vehicle. Uh, it cuts down on your time. You're able to cut right away uh, and get some quick results. Once I've, I'm happy with my finish I get from this step here, uh, I'll quickly use this heavy cut compound with the orange pad. What that does is the orange pad will take away a lot of the swirls and scratches left from the yellow pad. It leaves you with a really good finish right off the bat. So when you go down to the next step, which is the 2500 with a green pad, this thing cuts really quick, leaves a fantastic finish right away. You don't have to sit there and go over the same area a bunch of times. It, 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 it cleans everything up, makes it look really good. So then whenever you're done this step here, you move on to the final stage, which is the 3800 super finish pad. Super Finish Plus from Menzerna with his black pad from Chemical Guys. This produces an amazing result. Super deep finish and it looks fantastic. And same time guys, this is a budget build truck. So the power polisher I'm using today is this one here. It's, I can't even pronounce the name, but it's from uh, Manu Sage. Manu Sage, I think is what it is. This is a $60, uh, $60 power polisher from Amazon. So, if you got the extra money, you can go spend 350 bucks on a Makita or DeWalt polisher. Hey, go right ahead. Uh, but if you are trying to do something on a budget and this is all you can afford, I just want to show you you can get still good results using products like this. So, got all my power polishing stuff set up, guys. So let's set the camera up. Let's go over to the passenger side front fender and let's see how good we can get the finish to look on this $400 79 C10 Silverado. So guys, so this is this is one pass off that Manzerna. This is the heaviest, scratchiest pad. So you can see my brother sitting there in the reflection. Um, and you can tell exactly just how clear this thing is. So he's sitting over there, but this is the reflection we're getting. This is one pass with the Manzerna. I took about 11 minutes to do this entire panel. So that's the first, first quick pass here with the Manzerna. And there's really no, you can't, there's really no um, deep, deep scratches even left on this. Um, they're gonna come right out with that orange orange pad, which is the next step we're gonna use. But I just wanted to show you this. This is one step with Manzerna, the 400 uh, super heavy cut compound. And pretty much this entire panel is almost ready for the next stage. But uh, one pass, 11 minutes. This, th this stuff is awesome. Just wanted to quickly show you that, so let's get the polish and the rest of this truck.
Right, cool guys, so I got the uh, full entire thing done here. Uh, three stage wet sand and polish. On the passenger side here has all been completed. Take a look at the finish we got going on here. So this is from a three stage wet sand and polish with Manzura Power Polish products. Uh, like I was saying before with Menzerna, there's all, pretty much no dust or nothing with this product. This is a fantastic product, does a quick job. Uh, I was able to do this entire box eye here, front to back, probably only about a couple hours, two or three hours. Really great, really fast. It even surprised me how quick this went. But check this out here, that Carmel Tan Metallic here now with the light on it, looking super nice. Got that car, or sorry, the cool vanilla down here. That's looking beautiful. If you check out the finish here on the box side, uh, pull that up for you. So that finish on the box side here goes all the way down the entire side of the truck there. It looks absolutely beautiful. This color here inside the garage looks amazing together. Uh, I can't wait to see how this looks when we bring it outside there in the next couple days. But uh, now that I got the passenger side done here, I'm going to be uh, heading over to the driver's side. Let's get to uh, polishing up that driver's side of the truck here. Get it looking just as good as this passenger side. So guys, finally got the uh, the truck all power polished here on the driver's side. Uh, things looking really good. So my brother Mike, he's already gone ahead. He's already started to put some of the interior stuff back together on the truck. He's already gone and put the the, the dash bezels, the glove box, um, other pieces like that all together here. We're getting ready to put the seats and stuff like that in here too. So he's gone ahead. He's already done that. I'll show you on the passenger side here too what he's already done there as well. 
So on the passenger side, Mike's already gone ahead. He's already put the uh, the tail light lens on here. Getting some other stuff on the passenger side of the truck here too, like the handles, the door handle, the lock. Uh, we went and polished up this uh, this one side mirror here. Got it all back on there as well. Got the the emblems, the antenna holder, side markers on here now too. So starting to look like a truck again here. I ordered brand new uh, trim clips here for the entire truck because it was missing some in the back. So um those won't be in for another two weeks or so but uh, i have ordered a brand new full set of uh trim clips for the entire truck here so whenever they get here they'll have to be put on there as well so we'll just put it back all the trim back on the way it was there previously so until those arrive let's set the camera up get the polish and uh the rest of the hood roof the rest of the roof it's it's like 1 30 in the morning so that's that's definitely a roof all right let's go It's all been power polished here now. The entire truck's all been set and ready to go. Probably about two o'clock in the morning or so. I'm gonna probably head to bed. Mike's gonna stay out here, probably put some of the uh, the emblems and some door handles, probably some stuff like that, the drip rails, and some other stuff uh, on the truck here while I'm heading off to sleep. So, geez, we'll be putting most of this truck together tomorrow. Right on. So back here in the shop there the next morning, Mike's gone ahead. He's already put some drip rails on the truck. Uh, both of the seats down a little bit more interior stuff that's pretty much all ready to go in the inside just got to do the, the the door panels put the windows in and the new window felts in there as well he went ahead he already put the uh, the gas cap on there too last night that's all been done so this morning what I'm gonna do pretty much almost the last thing the wet sand and polish give you this hood you can set the camera up I'll wet sand and polish this here in a moment or two once that's all done we can throw that on the truck there later on this afternoon then there's just a few little things that we're gonna do for touch-ups I'm uh, going to repaint the grill so the grill is nice and black and it has a nice look to it because it's kind of faded and um, mixed matched here and there. So we repaint that grill. There's a, on the chrome trim that goes down the center there, there's a center line that's black. We're going to end up repainting that there for them as well. Make sure that looks all nice. All right, guys, let's uh, set the camera up, get the wet sand and polishing out this hood.
So we've gone ahead, we got the uh, the hood on there now. Uh, we also put together most of the interior there last night. My brother wired up these uh, the running lights here on the cab there too. Got those all installed and set up and ready to go. Went ahead and we put the uh, the emblems on, the mirror on, the door handle, the lock on the driver's side door there last night too. Brother's gone ahead, he's also put the tail lights on both sides of the truck here too. All right, cool guys, so that's it for today's video. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to leave your comments down below in the comment section. Let us know what you think of the truck project we're doing here. Would you like to see more of the uh, these kind of builds? Uh, leave them in your comment section down below. Love to hear them. And until next time, remember, if it's not raglan, it's not custom. I'll catch you guys next episode, so take care.